Hello friends, I am Sujoy and today I will show you how to solve a numerical integration problem using Gauss quadrature two point method. Also, how to solve it directly on the scientific calculator. So here is our question. Find out the integration of 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx with lower limit of 0 0.2 and upper limit of 0 0.6. So first let me show you solving it directly. For that, press this integration button, then press this fraction button. 1 divided by 1 plus this alpha and this button for x and this button for square. End of the lower limit 0 0.2 end of the upper limit 0 0.6 and press equals to. So which will give you the integration answer directly which is 0 0.3430. Now I will show you how to get this answer using Gauss quadrature two point method. So let's proceed to the solution. First step is write down Gauss quadrature table, which is this table. First column is number of points 2. So here we are using two point method. So n equals to 2. Next, the points denoted by xi, and next, the weights denoted by wi. So for two point method, our points will be plus or minus root over 1 by 3 and weights will be 1. So from above table, T1 which is the lower limit is equals to 0 0.2, Tn which is the upper limit equals to 0 0.6, N or number of points equals to 2 since it's a two point formula and x of 1 comma 2 equals to plus or minus root over 1 by 3 and w or weight of 1 comma 2 equals to 1. So first we will find out the tx1 which is given by half into 1 minus x1 times t1 plus 1 plus x1 times tn equals to half into 1 plus root over 1 by 3. Here we are taking the minus part of this that is 1 minus of 2 over 1 by 3 that is 1 plus 2 over 1 by 3 times t1 which is 0.2 plus 1 plus of minus of 2 over 1 by 3 that is 1 minus root over 1 by 3 times tn which is 0.6. So by calculating this you will get this by calculating this you will get this. So adding them up and multiplying with 0.5 you will get 0.2. 284529 that is equals to tx1. Next tx2 equals to half into 1 minus x2 times t1 plus 1 plus x2 times tn equals to half into 1 minus root over 1 by 3 times t1 which is 0.2 plus 1 plus root over 1 by 3 times tn which is 0.6. So you will get half into 0 0.084529 plus 0 0.946410 which is equals to 0 0.515469 which is equals to tx2. Now we will calculate the y of tx1. So our original expression which we need to find out the integration of that is 1 divided by 1 plus x square. Now we will put the value of tx1 in place of x here. So we will get 1 divided by 1 plus tx1 is this value whole square equals to 0 0.925106. Similarly y of tx2 will be same expression but we will put the value of tx2 that is this value in place of x here. That is equals to 1 divided by 1 plus 0.515469 square that's equals to 0 0.790071 next we'll calculate the ix which is equals to w1 into y of tx1 that is this value plus w2 into y of tx2 so w1 we know is 1 and w2 is also 1 so w1 into this value plus w2 into this value that's equals to 1. 715177. 
now we will calculate the actual i. i equals to tn minus t1 times ix divided by 2. That is equals to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2 times 1.715177 divided by 2 equals to 0 0.3430. And which is the value we earlier obtained by solving the integration problem. Isn't it cool? There are some other methods for solving numerical integration such as Simpson one third rule, Simpson triad rule, trapezoidal rule, Weddell's rule and Boole's rule. I have videos on all the rules I mentioned. Link to all of my numerical method videos is given in the video description below. So check them out. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video. That will really encourage me. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.